Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snackbar. It's time for the second part of the mission that I've gone ahead and made for you guys. Uh, thank you everybody for your positive comments and your support. It really means a lot. I mean, even after all this time, to have you guys' support is absolutely awesome. So before I go into your guys' questions and tell you more about the other channel and things like that, I kind of wanted to give you a brief rundown on what you guys are going to see in this mission. So it takes place right after the last episode that you guys saw. Uh, essentially what's happening here is we've been retasked to this town which houses this communications tower we've been able to find out here that all the communications for the enemy kind of comes from this tower and allows them to be able to coordinate their attacks and things like that so we have to take it out now the bradley that i'm in has allowed me to resupply rearm myself too so i should be operating with full ammo and i've also got a demolition charge with me too to kind of help take out that tower now because this tower is so important and this town is as well the enemy have it uh, defended very well so we will definitely be outnumbered significantly here uh, as the enemy is going to do everything they can to protect their ability to communicate and coordinate with one another not only do they have a lot of infantry inside of this town but they also have uh, some vehicles as well like you can see this technical right here that could pose a serious challenge I mean we are going to be six people and we're gonna have one person with AT so we're going to have to take out those gunners. These Bradleys are going to try and help us out as much as possible uh, once we get to the town. The problem is, again, since we are only six people, we're not going to be able to do a great job at being able to support these guys. And so RPG rounds can take them out. So the safest thing for them to do is to be on the edge of town firing in. So they may be able to provide us some cover fire as we insert, but that's going to be about it. Now I'm going ahead and just kind of watching what's going to be happening taking a look at this like swamp or bog area to see if there's anybody in here nothing I mean basically what I'm gonna be focusing on is what is directly in front of me that lead Bradley if he starts opening up on the enemy uh, well then I know it's time for us to get out here and try and help support uh, their attack they're gonna be very very helpful for us I can imagine uh, but that should give you a rundown of what you're gonna see here um, to basically get you guys' questions there weren't too many and I'm not really surprised by that considering how long it's been oh Turning the turret, opening fire now. Okay, so they've spotted some guys. We should be getting out of here pretty quick and helping out. Okay, he stopped, so now's the time for us to get out. Um, but yeah, I wasn't surprised there weren't too many questions. I mean, I know how long it's been since I've posted on here, and this isn't the first time where I've gone a considerable amount of time without posting. So uh, I meant what I said though at the beginning. The fact that I still have a lot of support from you guys is just absolutely amazing. And really, thank you everybody who's gone over to the new channel too. Uh, and supported me there as well. That's that's awesome to see you guys over there too. For me, it's such a big nostalgia thing to like hear things like Timmy Timmons or MLB2K and stuff like that. So thanks for bringing that stuff up. I hope you guys do. And you know, with you guys being uh, new to the new channel, I really appreciate your guys' feedback. I mean, you guys are gonna have a fresh eye on a number of things and I'd like to know what you guys think I know this is very different content from what I traditionally posted on here but as I mentioned in the last one like you can see how I was getting to this point introducing more Arma stuff that Resolute Alliance campaign and stuff like that so I'm having a lot of fun so to get to one of the questions here which was um, actually a common theme about all of them what have I been up to lately uh, and what type of things have I done between I you know, last talk to you guys basically is what it is. Um, so I'm still working at the same job that I was at before. Um, I have gotten promoted a uh, number of times since then. So I'm doing pretty good here in the job that I've got. I enjoy it. Um, but a lot of my time here has been spent on school and stuff. I'm still trying to rectify the decision that I made, which was a terrible decision to drop out of school at a college when I did. Um, it's a lot tougher when you have the amount of kids that I do, but it's basically work, school, and then in my spare time, trying to do stuff on YouTube. Uh, another thing I'm trying to do is get into woodworking a little bit too, but there's not enough hours in the day to do all the stuff that I want to do, which is something I'm realizing the older that I get is that I'm not going to be able to do all the things that I want to do, so I got to try and prioritize that stuff. Um, a lot of dad stuff too, of course, is, is in there. You know, having uh, almost four kids now, we'll have our fourth in October. You know, that does take up uh, a lot of time, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, my son is awesome. My two daughters are, are amazing, too. And we find out in a couple weeks what baby number four is going to be. Oh, that truck stopped burning. Okay, so I'm going to be able to kind of set up on here. 
Um, another question that I got here that I kind of wanted to, to get to, because this was kind of fun, which was, uh, what were the series that I actually enjoyed doing the most? So, um, for me, my favorite, let me kind of go through some of them here because I had a lot that I actually did enjoy, but they were like my least successful. I feel like my least successful series that I did on this channel. So I love FIFA a lot. There's like with all the sports games that I have played over the course of this channel and my life and stuff like that. I, I hope this makes sense. But if I hit a home run in MLB the show, it's, Oh, I've hit a home run. I've hit so many home runs that it's like, you know, or, or, or base hits, whatever, you know, in MLB the show, I basically done it all, you know, with the exception of like an inside the park home run or, or, or something crazy like that. Uh, I've usually done everything a lot more than just once. Like it was just a, all right, I've hit a home run or with Madden, you know, it's like, Oh, I scored a touchdown. But like with FIFA, I would still get excited whenever I got a goal. And I think a lot of it is because you really don't know until that last second that it gets past the goalie, whether or not you scored. So you're kind of like in suspense, but man, did I love playing uh, FIFA? The thing is, is, one, I'm an American, and I don't know nearly as much about soccer uh, or football, if you guys are European. Uh, Tom, looking at you. Um, since I don't know nearly as much about soccer or football as everybody else, I, I couldn't feel or I didn't feel like I was a credible YouTuber in that regards. And uh, the series that I enjoyed doing was uh, the Fritz McChickens one. Like, I, I really wanted to be able to see how I could grow, but... Again, since I wasn't drawing that many views, I wasn't reputable uh, when it came to being able to talk about soccer and stuff. It, it, it didn't work out. I tried to do that series with Manchester United, but I felt like I was way over my head when people were talking to me about, hey, what do you think about you know this particular player and his transfer to, to this team or something? And, uh, I don't know. Uh, so I knew that that was kind of one of those things that wouldn't turn out too well for me, especially since, you know, I was trying to focus on a lot of other series too, making the transition to soccer, something I couldn't do. Um, I really enjoyed my player in NBA 2K. That was a lot of fun to do, but, um, you know, same thing. Didn't draw that many, many views. I knew I was known for baseball more than anything. Um, and I guess the last one was NCAA football. That was a lot of fun too. Like the coaching carousel was a blast to see what, what I could do because it was nice to be able to see, you know, you do like a franchise or something. You could really only do like one year, um, you know, with a lot of that stuff or, or I could really do only one year. Um, but being able to see things like carry on in a coaching carousel where you're not playing the full game and stuff. That was really cool cool to see and I love that like NCAA football for me was just a lot of fun and I think that ties to the fact that I'm from Nebraska and college football is a huge part of our culture it is an immense part of our culture and so getting to, to play it out is, is always fun um, I think a lot of it too is just with a whole bunch of my friends and stuff we we would play that game together so there's a nostalgia factor to it as well that I enjoyed and that's not to say I didn't enjoy things like Madden the thing about football games though that's just a huge pain as much as i love playing them they were the worst games to edit i hated editing those games so much because uh there were so many different plays that i felt like you had had to show one of the things that that i felt like was important as a youtuber is to tell a story and the way that you would do it in sports gaming is you would show the different plays or stuff like that to basically tell the story that was that particular game. And so having to sort through every single play and basically ask the question, you know, does this help shape what you guys are seeing? Uh, was actually kind of a, a, a big thing here in, in making those videos. So I wouldn't show things like incomplete passes unless they were third down. I had this rule that I wouldn't show a run unless it was more than uh, three yards or something like that. Uh, unless, of course, it was like on third down. Um, but real quick here, just so you guys know, now that I've gotten across the bridge here and I'm onto the other side of the city, I have to wait for everybody else to get across. 
Now, not only is it just an AI thing that's going to take them a while to get across, but it's also something them being cautious. This is a choke point, uh, a fatal funnel, you could call it too. And so the enemy right here could move up and really hit these guys as they're crossing the bridge. They have absolutely no cover. So we do have to kind of bound uh, forward here and move over cautiously. But now that I've got a majority of the team across, I should be able to go ahead and move forward here. So just giving you an update on that one. Um, baseball was kind of like that too. When it came to editing, it was really, really tough because there would be long stretches where not too much happens. And so at, at one point I was having to write down, okay, a uh, strikeout happened here. I got a, a base hit here, stuff like that. And I'd have to like search through the whole game. It, yeah. It took a lot of time to actually go through and, and play the game. Uh, a lot of times it was about an hour and a half for a normal game. Um, but it would take a lot more time to go through, make the clips, edit stuff out. And I even had the same type of rules with baseball too. You know, like um, I would probably show two or three strikeouts and that's it, regardless of how many that I had, unless there was a lot more. Uh, and even then I would probably just show the uh, third strike in some of those cases. I wouldn't show base hits unless uh, it would lead to a run or... Um, if there was just so few hits that game, I would say, hey, here is a base hit. I'm going to show you that some offense actually happened. Um, but it was really the editing process that I think uh, kind of hit me in those two sports was because of how how long it would take. And you know what? Even basketball was that same way. You know, it, it was a pain to edit. And I think that's kind of what burnt me out was just how much editing that I would have to do for those uh, types of, of videos. Like I spent more time basically editing than I did playing it or, uh, you know, doing any other stage. If that kind of makes sense. I think that's one of the things that kind of burnt me out is because I wasn't just, I wasn't playing the game. I felt like I was editing more than anything else. Um, and I will admit too, that a lot of sports games, you know, playing as many of them as I had, they don't change that much. Um, even, like I grabbed Madden 17 because it was like 20 bucks or something like that. I'm like, yeah, let me, let me see what this is like. It felt again, like the same game. So, um, the replayability factor in a lot of those is not that high. Um, and, and I feel like that to some degree you have a lot of YouTubers who, who kind of feel that way in the sports genre. Um, but I don't know. I learned a lot actually from YouTube uh, with this channel that I'm kind of using in uh, my War is Hell channel. So uh, it's not to say that I didn't learn anything or I didn't enjoy it. I mean, please don't take me wrong. Uh, I don't take what I'm saying that way. Like I, I didn't enjoy stuff at all. Um, but it was a lot of trial and error on some things. And there was a lot of things that, that didn't go well. And I wish I would have known more actually, cause then I could have made stuff uh, a little bit better. I think one of the things that for me, and I'm totally fine talking smack about myself as, as a YouTuber here on, on this channel. And if I start this up again and I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm going away guys. So please don't take it as that I'm, I'm not. Um, if I were to ever start up sports again, the thing is, is I would do one sport and one sport only. Uh, I took on way too much. And a lot of that came from the situation that I was in in my life, like where I was working until uh, 11 o'clock at night. I'd come home. My wife and my son would be asleep and I couldn't go to bed. Like right when I got off work, my brain was fried and um, just running at a million miles an hour. So I did YouTube. So I'd be like, okay, well, you know, I've got uh, this video done. I've still got a couple more hours before I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to start something else. Oh, let's start a new game. Cool. Uh, so I introduced another game. And then, oh, hey, this game's out. I really want to play NBA. Well, now I'm doing NBA. Now I'm doing three games. And it's like, oh, man, I've bit off a lot more than I can chew. I don't know how uh, some of these YouTubers can play all of these different types of games, but... I know for me, what I should have done, if I were to go back and start over, it would be one game and one game only, or one sport and one sport only, and it would be uh, probably baseball. 
you know, because that's what I started off doing. And that's what I liked the most at the time. And I know the most about. So um, I probably would have just stuck with that. One of the things, too, that I didn't understand um, was that, you know, you are going to see some decline in views at certain times of the year and stuff like that. Um, some stuff got pretty disheartening. Um, but I didn't know that that was kind of natural, so that kind of made some things a little bit more difficult than I think it needed to be. Um, but just so you guys know, called in here that we're about ready to destroy this communication tower, so we're going to be uh, picked up here in just a little bit. Now, because this area is still heavily defended, uh, we're not going to be able to get a normal type of extraction. What we're going to have to do is head for these boats, and we're going to get extracted here from the water. So this actually should be pretty sweet. I've never, ever done anything like this before in armor or anything so we're gonna see how well this goes so we've got everybody clear here of the tower and we're gonna go ahead and and detonate it and uh cut off their ability to communicate with each other so there it goes and we're good um but yeah so i'm sure a lot of you guys are wanting to know what's going to happen with this particular channel uh, again the answer with that one is i'm not sure um i may come back to it at some point uh, I don't know if it's time or what that I, I just need to be able to enjoy that type of stuff again. And it might be a, a full reboot that I start on this channel here and, and maybe take some of the things that I learned earlier and kind of put it in a, into practice. Like, say this NCAA game, uh, football game that comes out here is something where it is highly moddable and you can mod it to where you can have real teams and stuff like that. Maybe that's what brings me back. You know to it and then this channel would be 100 percent uh college football you know type of thing i don't know or maybe there's some big revolutionary change here in uh baseball uh game uh baseball gaming and stuff like that that we uh that brings me back to it too i don't know um this has actually been like making videos on here has been a big part of i guess the beginning of me being an adult and stuff like that. Like, it's crazy to think I started this when my wife and I were dating oh so long ago. Um, but, you know, I think it would be wrong for me to just say, hey, I'm deleting the channel and stuff like that because, you know, you guys might want to go back and, like, watch a video or something like that um, that you guys really, really enjoyed. I know for me, it's, it's pretty fun, actually, to go back and listen to the first video that I ever did and be like, oh, my gosh. Really, that was me? That's what I sounded like? And to see, like, how much had changed since then and, you know, how I had my Call of Duty Black Ops free-for-all and stuff like that, which is, you know, it cracks me up. It's like, oh, man, if you only knew. Um, but, you know, my interests have changed. I think that happens with everybody. You know, you guys have grown up. I've grown up, too. You know, this is definitely a lot more of a mature game that I'm playing here at Armor 3 than... Uh, what I was into at the time, but it's perfectly natural. And honestly, at the end of the day, you know, YouTube is not something that replaces my full-time job. Uh, it is a hobby, plain and simple. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to be able to do it and, and to enjoy the type of content that I do. And I got to remember that this is about having fun. It's not about putting food on the table or anything like that. It's something me getting to share uh, some fun that I've had with you guys, uh, which is why, again, I hope, you know, if you guys are interested in any of this type of stuff at all, just to head over to the War is H uh, Hell channel, you know, there's a lot of things that I do over there that I, again, I wish I would have known about here. Like I stream uh, a lot more. I do more multiplayer type stuff, you know, with, uh, with groups and everything. I mean, my community, we have like weekly operations where we all get together and, and run through a series of missions and stuff like that. It, it's a blast. I think uh, this weekend we're, it, it's not a direct reenactment, but it's a themed uh, mission based around the Bin Laden raid. So that's going to be a lot of fun to do. I mean, it's it's that type of stuff, you know, with people who watch this uh, or who watch my other channel and stuff like that, which is great. Um, I love that. So, again, that's some of the lessons that I feel like I've gotten better as a YouTuber. My audience is a fifth of the size of this one, but you guys know it was never about the numbers or anything like that. It was just about having fun and stuff, which I feel like I'm doing again. Uh, and why I like it. So, um, but I think that hit most of the questions that you guys you guys had for me. Um, I don't know again when I'm going to post on this channel again. 
Um, but this is not like a goodbye or anything like that. Uh, if this account were to ever, if I ever were to just straight up pull the plug, I would definitely notify you guys on something like that. Uh, I do feel bad that, you know, I just disappeared and stuff like that. But after even playing that last round of MLB The Show, it was, it was getting rough, guys. I was like, I still am not enjoying this. I'm going to keep trying to put out videos, but I'm not enjoying it. And I was actually kind of doing both these channels at the same time. So uh, part of it was to see if I was going to enjoy one uh, above the other. So if you guys, as I mentioned, want to be a part of that other community, that other channel, I would love to have you guys. Um, I'll go ahead and hit some, uh, or I'll go ahead and comment and pin my comment here uh, from the other channel so you guys can find it pretty easily. But there's that helicopter that is up ahead. It is sitting in the water here. So if we can get past here and get to the chopper, all we have to do is get into the back. We just drive this boat right on into the back of that Chinook. And we can get out of here. That's going to be the fastest way for us to go. But taking out those two guys, too, I should have an open path here now to the Chinook. So we ended up only losing one person, which is not that bad considering how outnumbered we were. Uh, not just in this mission, but the one before so mad props to the AI in this one and the guys on my team for surviving Not bad at all Okay, we just got to line it up here We're gonna head into the back of the Chinook Nice we made it We're gonna get out of here now that we are safely in Boom not bad Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. You guys have been just wonderful to me for so many years, so thank you. I hope we've got many more years ahead of us together as a community. Yep, on a different channel, but, uh, you know, a lot of great memories we've had here. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more uh, to come down the road. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Until next time, I love you guys. Thank you.